What's up, Soul Supernatural family? This is Cynthia Rose, back with another short video. I am the host, the most beautiful host at that, okay? Founder and CEO of Soul Supernatural Productions, LLC. And on this platform, we cover everything from world news, entertainment news, Hollywood news, conspiracy theories, and a lot more. Now, I've been dibbling and dabbling here i've been looking at this platform i've been looking at that platform a lot of people have been sending me emails yes i've been reading you guys' emails okay and um y'all have a point y'all have a point and i'm gonna bring it to the forefront okay because i know a lot of you guys do not have platforms a lot of you guys are not content creators so often a lot of the times you guys are in the comments you guys are in the emails you guys are just in the audience you're just watching okay um so i'm gonna bring this to the front because this is highly requested of me right now and i agree 100 i had to really think about this and i had to really go back and do some research let me ask the audience the question let me ask y'all a question okay and this is not to the ones that's already um questioning this this is not to you guys who have been reaching out to me and, you know, bought this subject up. But this is to the ones who probably may have forgotten. Okay. Let me ask y'all. Let me ask you guys a question. When this situation came about with the whole Nickelodeon thing, I understand. You guys were in your feelings. I was in my feelings too. Y'all saw my video. I was like really triggered by that, especially uh, Drake Dale's story. I was triggered. I was so angry that I had to calm myself down. I had to go into prayer. I had to really like gather myself. Here's the question. And I want everybody to really think about this because I remember when this shit first happened. Okay. Do you guys remember a group named B2K? I listened to B2K when I was coming up. Um. <clears throat> There was Raspy, there was Lil Fizz, there was Omarion, and you know, those those guys, J Boog, yeah. Okay. Let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all remember when Raspy had started coming out on social media and talking about his experience with Chris Stokes and being in that group B2K? Do you guys remember him talking about the abuse that he endured by Chris Stokes? And other producers and other producers and executives, excuse me, in the entertainment industry, in the music industry. Y'all called this man gay. Y'all called this man crazy. Y'all laughed at him. Ain't no documentary come out about Chris Stokes and what he was doing with these young boys at the time. Where they interview at? Where they documentary at? This is why I made the statement and what I said when I did that first video. I said, there's something kind of fishy about this. Because why the hell Dan Snyder get to see his fat ass? Okay. After all this shit that came out, why he get to see his fat ass on the interview and say, well, I apologize. That's all he get to do is apologize for all that pedophilic, ill-minded, satanic, ritualistic shit that he was doing with them kids in Hollywood. All he gets to do is apologize. And y'all okay with that. Y'all don't find something funny about them bringing out this documentary and having this man come on here and just say he's sorry. Okay, yeah, Nickelodeon let him go. But they also paid his ass $7 million as well while they was kicking his ass out the door. What? Do that make sense? Where's the documentary? Where's the justice? Where's the interview for Rasby and all the many of other melanated, carbonated, black, however you want to say it, okay, child stars that came up in Hollywood that endured the same goddamn ritualistic abuse. Where they justice at? Oh, do we not care about them because they are melanated, carbonated black? I'm asking a question. I'm just asking a question. I remember when he came out and started talking about this shit. I've got videos on Chris Stokes, Jermaine Dupree, P. Diddy, 
and the evil, sick and twisted, diabolical, maniacal shit that they have done with these children in Hollywood. What's going on? Like, what's really going on? What's really going on? Dan Schneider is free. He got kicked off of Nickelodeon back in, what, 2018? They gave his ass $7 million and pushed his ass on. They basically paid his ass to leave because he was such a wonderful writer and producer. And What? These kids' lives have been destroyed. Drake Bell said that he's still fucked up, even as an adult. Where's the justice for Raz B? Where is the documentary on Chris Stokes? We the people. And I speak on behalf of everybody that emailed me and contacted me and reached out to me. We the people demand. Okay? Because the only interview that I saw him really do was on Vlad TV. The, yes, the agent. Vlad TV, the Cointel Pro. A little bit exposure, but not too much. Where is the documentary on Chris Stokes? Where? Rosby said that he was assaulted by Chris Stokes. Y'all made fun of this man. Y'all mocked him. Y'all didn't give him a documentary. I feel like Chris Stokes is one of the people in Hollywood that needs a documentary. Along with P. Diddy, along with Jermaine Dupri, along with a lot of these other satanic fools that was around all these children. What was Jermaine Dupri show? Um, rap gang, trying to find stardom and children, let them pursue their dreams. He had B2K. Uh, it was another group. Uh, what's what's the name of that group? That um, oh, I can't think of it right now. Uh, immature. Uh, Marcus Houston was in immature. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Where's where, where where's the interview for for, for for Chris Stokes? Where is the interview for Chris Stokes? Where is the documentary for Chris Stokes? All we get for Raz B is a goddamn Cointel Pro interview from Vlad TV. That's all we get. That's all we get for this man coming on here telling. About what, 14, 15 years ago, 11 years ago, probably more years ago back than that. This man getting on here saying the twisted, sick, diabolical, maniacal stuff that he had to go through as a child star in Hollywood. But Drake Bell get a whole documentary and everybody feels sorry for him. Everybody feels sorry for Drake Bell, but y'all left that Raz B. Called him gay. Ooh. I'm passionate about my shit. I'm passionate about my shit. We need a documentary on Chris Stokes, P. Diddy, Jermaine Dupri. We need a documentary, especially, especially on this man right here. Especially on this man right here because y'all laughed at this man yeah he felt like that he was going to commit you know i gotta be careful with my words but he felt like that he wanted to commit because of all the backlash he got from coming out and tell his story but drake bell get up here and say that brian that he woke up to brian peck giving him fellatio over and over and over and over and over again everybody want to oh and I get it. I felt the way too. But let's not forget who came out with their story first. Let's not forget how y'all mocked Raz B for talking about what this man did to him and many others as a child. This how Chris Stokes had IMX pose. And this was one of the album cover photos. I used to listen to IMX when I was coming up in the 90s. IMX, Immature. Y'all remember them? Managed and produced by Chris Stokes. This is how he had them for the album covers. Again, this is all Chris Stokes. 
Why do you got a bunch of teenage black teenage boys? They had to be about 13, 14, something on here. In they underwear, in the bed, together. Chris Stokes, this is how he had these young black boys, teenage boys, going through puberty, posing for their album covers. Where is their documentary? Why didn't Raz B, and this is, again, this is not B2K, this is IMX, that was before B2K. Why didn't Raz B get the same type of love and affection and emotional support that Drake Bell is getting right now? Raz B was an adult when he came out years ago and started telling his story on his sexual assault with Chris Stokes. Drake Bell is now an adult telling his story that went on between him and Dan Schneider and um, Brian Peck. Yo, this shit is sick. Chris Stokes, in December 2007, Stokes was accused of sexual assault by his cousin, B2K member Demario Rasby Thornton, alleged to have happened while Stokes was managing the group and Thornton was 11 or 12 years old. My time is very limited right now, but I'm coming back with a part two tonight. Two nights, and we're gonna get deep in the trenches with this shit because listen, it don't matter what we go through, we're not never treated fairly. And what I mean by we black people, melanated carbon, however you want to, whatever you want to call it, we are not treated fairly, we are not treated equally. We don't get the same exposure, even though some of us go through the same things in Hollywood. Y'all saw my video yesterday, okay, with Darius McQuarrie, aka Eddie Winslow. He even said out his own mouth that everybody get touched. Everybody got to go. And it ain't nothing but a satanic, sick ritual that they all have to go through with these children. I'm coming back with a part two. We're going to expound on this more, okay? Because the way y'all did him, called him crazy, called him all type of, yo, yo. We need a documentary on Chris Stokes and we need a documentary on a lot of these black producers and executives that's high up in the industry that have dealt with children. Facts. And share this video. I want you to share this video with the world.